where are all the snakes? I can't find them anywhere. Normally they love oak savannas and flat places with a whole bunch of grass. They live on the outskirts of the woods and in forests. Have you guys seen any snakes? How does the word snake make you feel? I know for some people, it's kind of a scary word. Those animals do not make you feel comfortable. I love snakes, however. And today we are going to talk all about garter snakes in Schmeekly Reserve. Hi guys, my name is Jordan Gady and I'm a wildlife education major here at Stevens Point. And you know what this is? This is perfect garter snake habitat. You guys can see a whole bunch of loose limbs and sticks and trunks all over the ground that give just the perfect amount of space for garter snakes to be able to slither under which makes it a little bit harder to find them but a lot of times edge of the forest we want we want edge where they can get that sunlight that's beaming down on me right here with this dark bark right here that would be the perfect place for them to be able to sun themselves and warm up from the cold nights in the summer here at Schmeekly, we have tons of garter snakes. We also have a lot of sticks and small bushes on the ground. In the springtime, before the leaves are on all the plants, it is really easy to find garter snakes, but also a lot harder because all of these sticks on the ground and small bushes also look a whole lot like snakes. Do you guys see the garter snake? If you need a little help, he's right by the trunk of the tree. Snakes need sun to warm up their bodies instead of creating their own heat. So a lot of the time, you might just see snakes sitting on the edge of the trail. They're not there to hurt you, but they're just there to help themselves and warm up from the cold nights. Here is a perfect example of a garter snake taking his time crossing the path. They use those curves in their bodies to push them along because they don't have arms and legs. Right there you can see he stops because he finally sees me sitting on the side of a tree. He isn't sure what I am, but he uses those tongue flicks. I don't know if you can see him, but he's trying to figure out what I am. There's a super cool organ in the top of their mouths called the Jacobson's organ, and it takes particles from their tongue and sends it to their brain to figure out what's happening. Right there I move, and he sees me and how big I am, and he slithers away. So this is one of our garter snakes here at Schmeekly. They are super, super cool. You can tell these really cool adaptations they have with that beautiful yellow line down their back and their yellow belly scales. Isn't that so gorgeous? They also have circle pupils, which indicate that they're not venomous in Wisconsin. Only use that rule in Wisconsin. But yeah, these guys are super, super pretty. You guys might've seen, they're kind of hard to catch. So now that we know a little bit more about garter snakes, we can now think about ecology and the impact that they have on our environment. Snakes are super, super important because they help keep rodent, amphibian, and insect populations down. Without that, we would have rodents everywhere in our houses, in our beds, and they'd be eating and destroying everything around us and making us sick. So even if you don't like snakes and this video really creeped you out, I hope that you can gain a healthy respect for snakes and know that they are super, super important to a healthy and thriving ecological place, just like Schmeekly Reserve. I hope you guys watch a few other Nature Note videos, and I'll see you next time.